If you see a guy running down the road in an orange vest with a baby stroller, well, you might wonder what in the heck's going on. Well, his name is Jeremiah Godby. He's an Oregon State University student, and he's running from Canada to Sacramento, half of a brotherly journey. KRCR News Channel 7 meteorologist Rob Elvington caught up with him during today's leg of his journey. So CHP's been okay with you? They yeah, they've been, yeah, they've been really cool. Uh, in Oregon, I ran through uh, I-5, and so that was pretty, you know, a lot of police were like, yeah, I mean, you can do this. It's kind of... It's kind of uh, crazy, but yeah, you can technically do it. I'm like, there's no other way. Meet Jeremiah Godby, your average college student who just happens to like to run, run a lot. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty good. Yesterday I ran 51 miles, and so it was pretty. That was my toughest day uh, of the whole trip and probably my life. And so uh, running wise, Jeremiah and his brother Isaiah are meeting halfway in Sacramento. Jeremiah beginning at the Canadian border, and his brother from the Mexican border. And so it's been good. You know, I've ran about 700 plus miles and, uh, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. They're doing this to spread awareness about living a healthy lifestyle and the use of natural medicine. It's a long and lonely road, just home in his baby stroller full of supplies, which is making passerbys very nervous. A lot of cars stop by. Uh, they, you know, first, first of all, because they, they see my baby jogger, and so uh, they think there's a baby in there. So I've gone actually, they've gone a lot of calls, and a lot of police uh, stopped me. You know, they're like, yeah, we're getting a lot of complaints, saying there's a baby on board. And I'm like, no, you know, it's no baby, no baby. And they're like, okay, you know, good job, keep running. Uh, but yeah, a lot of cars stop, and you know, they give me water and food because you know they can see that you know I'm you know running unsupported, and so I'll be a little bit nice. By the time Jeremiah makes it to Sacramento, he will complete a 34-day, 1,000-mile trip. A nice cool down compared to a San Francisco to New York City route last summer. But how did this come to you? Like one day you woke up, you said you, you ran from San Francisco to New York. That last was last year. summer, yeah. So before last summer, like when did this hit you? Like did you just wake uh, up and then, like, I, I... Well, because I used to be a big stocky football player, actually. I used to weigh, you know, 10 or 10 pounds. And um, so I'm really, you know, running that for a cause that is it's close to my heart. Jeremiah running from basically Canada to Sacramento. If you see him on the side of the road, <laughs> give him a honk. You know, wish him good luck and cheer him on. That was Rob Elvington reporting. You know, he, he said as he was going on the freeway and the highway patrol or whoever was one, you can do that. As long as there's no other reasonable way, you can ride your bike or run down the freeway. They asked him not to, so he went around. <laughs> Bernie, I guess. Well, okay, because you can do it. It's, right. it's legal to do it. Yeah. I, if I yeah. saw somebody pushing a baby stroller, though, down I-5, yeah, I, I admit, yeah, I yep. would be like, what is that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, an annual Chico event has a new location. We're talking about Chico Paleo. It's tomorrow at